Hey guys, APOC here, and I am super excited today because I just hit Champions League. And you can see that new badge right in the center of the screen, the floating red crown. This, is the, this got me super pumped, and it got me to a new personal best of 1815. So I actually ended up winning five of my last six battles, with the sixth battle being a draw. But let's not waste any time, let's hop right into those battles. So this first one is versus Nova One Trevor, and he's actually in Pompeo's clan. Uh, big shout out to Pompeo, first grand champion. So this is a Hog versus Golem matchup. We're going to open up with a Hog Ice Spirit push on the right hand side. He blocks the Ice Spirit with his Musketeer, but we wind up getting our Fireball down and taking that Musketeer out as well, as long with the chip damage. So that opens us up with a nice 1400 damage on the tower. So we find out quickly that he's in the that he's a golem player and leads with the golem in the back when he has the elixir advantage. So we'll just start with our knight defense. We don't want to leak any elixir, so let's get our cannon down. We do get a bit of a positive trade here as he just fireballs it. But that lets us have our our uh, archers free and clear. And we get cycle all the way back to a second knight to stop that graveyard. He does get a lot of good damage on the tower. And does pull up ahead of us. But now we got two knights and a hog rider. Wanted to get that hog pushing the knight. But uh, he did wind up hitting our... Our troops back with that fireball log we were able to get a few hits off we do retake the lead by just by like a hundred so I want to keep the pressure up so let's get our archers down skeletons down cycle all the way back we were able to block that musketeer with our knight his zap doesn't end up doing anything but so he has to zap and log in order to kill our our archers it's a positive trade and all that elixir spent leads to the end of his tower because Hog is still up. So let's start working on the other side. We split our archers not knowing where he was going to put the golem, but he switches sides. I don't know if that is the right move. Okay, so knight in the back is that archer is already too far up. And go for our next Hog push. And we nail those minions. But he does have that musketeer still up and now we got our cannon and we actually find that graveyard we got our archers we got our skeletons and we got our knight all doing the best job they can and we're going to cycle all the way back to another cannon that cannon plus our ice spirit takes out his musketeer and finally we go with another art group of set of archers he goes for a Desperation Graveyard on the other side, but we're able to defend that. And that's really the end of this first game. Nova 1 Trevor down in a fantastic match. Okay, let's hop into match 2. Versus Baby. We have another aggressive start with Hog Ice Spirit in hand. So that's exactly what we will start with. He opens up with Mega Minion. Mega Minion, uh, the Ice Spirit freezes the Mega Minion allowing us to get three hits off. So we will use our skeletons to distract his skeleton army, but then all of a sudden there's a balloon we use our cannon to pull it, but it didn't lock, but the archers didn't lock on, unfortunately. And that balloon gets off two hits, which is rough. And his minions plus his tombstone cleans up our hog. Now we reset. Just about, I'm about one elixir down here. With the reset, we'll reset with our knight in the back, and he goes for his Lava Hound. 
we'll start setting up our our hog push so hog behind the knight to push it forward fast and he goes with a lightning but that doesn't take down the the hog or the knight and we go with our archers on the left on the lava hound as they start beating it down and we'll use our knight to tank these uh, lava pups so knight still tanking for our archers let's go for the next push and we can get one hit on that tower second hit plus some skeletons and those skeletons wind up finishing it off so we'll use our archers to clean up this mega minion and start our next push knight out in front we use our hog once again and everything gets to the tower lightning down our archer plus our hog and now we have to cycle all the way back to our our archers again and that balloon is going to make it. But we are able to fireball everything down, start getting it weaker. <clears throat> and we pop down our second archers to prevent the, uh, the balloon. And we're going to use a cannon to pull this Lava Hound back. And that gets them back into range of our archers. And now we double up on archers. Now we got four two knights going there that knight is still alive four archers up a predictive ice spirit on those minions is perfect and we get a hog and three archers on the tower fireball would have killed it anyways but that prediction ice spirit saved all those archers which is beautiful okay last match it's gonna be versus Ferris. So we have Hog Cycle versus Hog Cycle. Ferris from Glory Maker says good luck. So I don't have an aggressive hand this time, so we're just going to split our archers in the back. And he's going to open up with his his hog pull. And we'll be able to counter that with our cannon plus our single archer. So time for us to open up our pull. And we learn that he has Inferno Tower. So, me having Cannon and him having Inferno Tower in the Hog vs. Hog matchup is definitely an advantage to having Cannon. Uh, so we'll just distract this Knight with our Skeletons. Um, it is a giant advantage to have Cannon, as uh, we're saving two Elixir every time we place a defense. Both counter the Hog fully, though. So we'll open this up with another Hog Rider push. He goes with a Fireball, but that keeps both our Hog and our Knight alive. And then he has to cycle all the way back to his uh, his Inferno Tower. And now we got a pretty good Elixir lead here, but we're not even close to Hog Rider again. So we have to drop some uh, Cycle cards to get all the way back to Hog. So split the Skeleton, split the Archers. And now we're still up. Okay, now we see his Goblin Gang. Log that down. Finally get some damage on the tower. We use our Knight to tank. He shows his Knight as well. His Ice Spirit holds us back. And that was a waste of Fireball by me and by him. Little BM going back and forth between us. <laughs> Okay, so we're still at full health hit pretty much here. So, log that hog, log that art, that uh, goblin gang, and he is not going to get his first hit. We are able to save with that ice spirit right at the last second. So, we fireball down that archer. I was expecting that we might have to cycle. So, he has to once again use his inferno tower on our hog, giving us another good trade. Log down that log down that tower, and the, with the gang, and let's cycle back for our next hog push, and we get another cannon up. We'll use our knight to block that 
the fire spirit because we don't want them to hit our cannon and get to the tower. And we got our hog to the tower and his knight is not enough to stop the damage. And all in all, this was a beautifully played game. Barely any damage to our tower. His whole tower is dead. Done in three minutes. And that's how it was done. That is how we reached Champions League. I appreciate you guys watching my channel this season. This season, um, next season we will, we should have our second max rare finally. As Fireball is our uh, going to be the second rare that we're maxing here. So that's just going to be about two weeks away, unless it comes out of this uh, this chest, the draft chest. Um, so at this point, only my commons are max. None of my rares are max except for Hog Rider. None of my epics are max. None of my legendaries are max. So we still got a, quite a bit to go. But I would say that all the way up here at 839 is a good place to be for, uh, for having such a limited card pool. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, my next tournament is going to be Wednesday uh, 5-3. And I hope to see you guys there. And soon I will have some more videos out. Thanks for stopping by.